Hey y'all, this is Cindy. I'm the Tireless Tangler and you have arrived at day 30 of our 100 Days of Zentangle Project 2020. Thank you all so much for being with me today. Our tangle is going to be raised by my friend from the UK, Sarah Fowler. She is known as Sappy on um, Zentangle Mosaic app. She was one of my very first friends that I made on Mosaic. And so uh, I am always thrilled when I can bring one of her very cool patterns. Now, the pattern that we are doing today is very, very closely related. It is a tangle, tangulation of the pattern we did yesterday, Toodles. And so Sarah always seems to have a, a very whimsical, unique way of looking at these patterns. And so this is what she came up with from while she was playing with the Toodles uh, pattern that we did yesterday, okay? Raise starts exactly the same with your S, open S or inverted S, however you wanna do it. It is also going to have the echo line taking off and landing along the same line. Now, instead of adding fescue, Sarah doesn't put the end on there. She just goes ahead and connects it like this. Where it's sort of like a little flap, or, or uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to think. It looks like a flap to me. So it is drawn exactly like Toodles, except, oops, that uh, that there is no fescue, little fescue involved and the bottoms are slightly different. Now, uh, this is the basic raise tangle. However, the things that you can do with this are, are many. You can vary this many ways, and this plays very nicely in a tile with toodles as well. Uh, if you would like to, you can check out the uh, article about this on tanglepatterns.com and uh, look for Sarah's other patterns which includes the very cool struts pattern, which, uh, well, I did it last year. We won't talk about it today, but it's very cool. You should check it out. So what are the things that we can do with our rays? Well, <clears throat> Sarah uh, has one example where she arrows the inside of this. And then she uh, striped it from side to side. And of course, this, this is one of those things you could put a sparkle in if you wanted, but you don't have to. Remembering that a sparkle is just a blank spot and what would otherwise be inked. I think there's going to be a learning curve on the striping, but still, isn't that very cool? And what if we put out this number on the bottom? Very cool. Now, I think this looks like a manta ray, and this is what she came up with after playing with Toodles. She says, where, she said, asked herself, where did I see this pattern before? And this is, this is where she got it. But uh, it's called rays. Let's fill up this tile with these and see what kind of fun we can have again today. I'm going to let my decorating gene go crazy today. That's usually a very dangerous thing. See if I can get this looking a little bit nicer now. You can start up farther and leave a little tail hanging on. And uh, these are much nicer if you will turn your tile as you draw them, a much, a much cleaner line. And your curve is going to be exactly the same as Toodles. 
like that. Yeah. I saw she had something similar to this on there and I don't know whether she closed that in with a line but that's a kind of a cool look. And we did Toodles yesterday specifically because I wanted to do this one today and I thought what better way to handle this than to do the tangle that to do the tangle first and then the tangliation, as any Oaken always calls it, a tangliation or a tangliation. A tangliation is just a, a pattern that comes out of another pattern, basically. Something that you normally get when you're playing with things. So, and I'm going to keep my little rays all pointed the same direction today. I felt like yesterday my toodles would have been more um, would have been a more pleasing flow I think if we'd had them going the, the same direction and I didn't have to and there was nothing wrong with what I did I'm thinking We'll put a little tail on that one just because I can. Um, I might leave this one. Nah, can't do it. So just please yourself. It's this has basically two strokes or three. Very simple, exactly like the Toodles start that we did yesterday with the little uh, echoed line, S line. And then you add your little flaps or fans on there, however you want to look at them. I really like this. Um, I wonder how it would look. If we did this. I really like that too. This doesn't have, well, I don't know. It has different uh, embellishment possibilities on this one. Um, let's do another one. Again, I'm echoing that line. And you can play with making those curvier or a little bit flatter. We did a little bit of overlapping there, not a lot. I really like the first variation where she's got the little stripes going across. So I'm going to put another one of those in here. Um, I thank all of you for the wonderful comments you have been leaving me. They are more meaningful to me than you can imagine. Um, those of you that comment pretty frequently, I feel like I'm getting to know I want to send a shout out to my people in Australia. I don't think I have had any of you guys comment, but I can tell by my analytics that you are one of the most um, involved groups in these videos. So I want to thank you guys. I don't know who is loving on us from Australia, but you're awesome. Thank you. Also, Germany's uh, views have really picked up. I'm assuming that's because uh, Ella Rieger and um, 
wonderful uh, Nadine Roller. We're over here looking at their Gelly Joy video. And uh, it's amazing how many countries that we've got um, joining us every single day from all over the world. That just always, always amazes me. And I think it's very cool. So I think that overlapping is less effective for this than if they float around in a little school. So I think I'm going to just let the rest of them float. Although this one's going to overlap anyway, isn't it? And that's okay. I can't get this wrong either, which is lovely. Um, so even though I did not like this yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and black this one and see if I can get it, get the sparkle in a little bit happier spot. Like that. I do like that. Um, let's try this and see what happens. Remember, if there's something you want to try and I didn't think of it, which is probably a lot, go for it. Try it out. Post it on Instagram for me, hashtag the tireless tangler or at the tireless tangler. I love when you guys do that. Let's me say wonderful things about you. And believe me, some of you are amazing. And some of you that are beginners, you will become amazing as you go. Give yourself time. The reason my my um, my um, ah, what am I looking for? The reason my online name is the Tireless Tanglers because when I started out, I could not put my pen down. Now I'm going to aura the outside of this because I feel like I should have given it some separation. Let's see what happens. Interesting. Not so bad. I kind of like that one. Uh, let's put one down here. Put maybe put a smaller one. A little bit of an awkward curve there, but that's all right. I'm gonna make these really rounded. Put a little curly cue on it. Cute. Um, let's think. Well, you know my favorite one. One of the easiest things you can do for embellishing is little dot dash thing. It's always a good way to uh, bring movement into something and dress it up. Um, let's put a few more in. See if we can figure out where these little guys are headed. I'm getting getting more and more uh, crazy with that uh, first little move. And that's all right. I can do it however I want. I want to give a shout out today also to the gentlemen who are in our midst that we no don't normally have very many gentlemen, but uh, 
lately we have picked up some so we like those guys thanks guys for being here with us I had uh, a gentleman named John leave a comment about, um, I think it was on the Sindhu um, video, and his response was to my uh, talking about trying to fill in all the little white dots on there that um, the little white dots were stars. <laughs> I love that. I loved that response. That's not put a little ball on there, but that's not working out. Here. Hmm. Um, maybe one more. one's also going to have some overlapping. I don't think I can avoid it here. And I'm just turning this as I go and and just allowing myself to do whatever I want. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Okay. Hmm. I guess I can leave that like that. I'll put another small one over here. Looks like a banana, doesn't it? been wondering what if I put uh, some lines in here going the other way just to see what happens I really love this this has so much fun stuff you can do and I wanted to out a few more of these little tail things. I kind of like the spiral on them. And this I want to, I don't know, I think I'll just shade that one. And Now, uh, I don't know where we'll go from here. 
but I'll be right back. Okay, now I have to say I'm not excited about this and as I proved to myself yesterday these don't have to be irritating. Um, they frequently turn out to be something nice when you finish them. So I was actually considering doing this uh, in a different way on a different tile. And I thought that would be a very bad example to set for you guys. So I'm going to try to figure this out here really quickly and see what we can do to sort of enhance this and make the tile complete. Now, uh, I of course could do what I did yesterday, but but uh, me being me, I don't want to. So um, I've been sitting here trying, looking at this, trying to figure out which way I want to go. And what I want is to continue the feeling of movement. Um, and I think blacking this and setting orbs and that kind of thing would stick us in place. So what I think I'm going to try on this, whoops, just to put this someplace where I can see before I draw. What I think I want to try with this is, is doing some simple auras around each one of these figures. And I'm gonna start in the interior and as I go, sorry, let's try this. And as I go, I'm going to try to uh, fix any raggedy lines, uh, that kind of thing, and just sort of uh, clean it up a little bit. So what I mean by R is, is just taking each one of these spaces and adding a parallel line in around the edge. It seemed like I had a lot of unfinished sort of uh, messy lines this time. So in each one of these spots where there is a blank, I'm going to fill it with a series of aura lines, okay? This may end up being very confusing to the eye. I honestly don't know, but we're gonna give it a try because right now I really don't know what else to do and Maria Thomas always tells me, when in doubt, aura. And if that doesn't help you, aura again. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna aura and see if it helps us. Try not to make too big a mess of it. Try not to get in a big hurry, which is where those unfinished lines come from. Let's see if I can turn this over and get everybody a better view of this. I appreciated so much all of y'all's comments uh, yet over the last few days telling me that um, you too struggle with some things, some aspects of this. It always is nice to know that you're not alone, isn't it? I'm gonna let these R lines be curvy if that's what they want. We want our, our, our R lines to be happy. Take your time. I did forget to breathe today. I'm a little wound up by stuff going on around here, so contacted my doctor today. I just feel like the level of pain that I have been continually having that has not gotten better is a little too much, and so I contacted him. We're going to try a different medication. It's hard when you are on regular medication for pain and then uh, you have uh, extra pain on top of that that you're not normally uh, coping with and called break breakthrough or breakout pain. And uh, uh, it makes it hard when you're already on an opioid for that uh, to um, have it be as effective when you've got a stronger pain happening 
that makes any sense. I'm just rambling now. I'd like to tell you it's the pain medication because it is time to take some more, but I haven't. Uh, my doctor called in something different today, so we're going to see. I understand that, that we're very close to having the pain problem be better. But, I mean, I am crying all the time. I can't, I can't keep it together. Um, so, um, I appreciate y'all's patience with me. Uh, I'm not a wuss. I'm really not. In fact, my, uh, my orthopedic surgeon, who has done surgery on me many times, calls me his VIP patient because I am constantly, um, constantly needing surgeries, and, and I bounce back well from them. But... Uh, and maybe that's why my lines are a little bit crazy today because I'm having trouble um, focusing. Now, the one thing that I was concerned about uh, by doing this type of aura-ing here between these is the fact that I'm afraid the, the patterns and the auras are going to get confused. But uh, let's finish out and see what we end up with before we make our decision. I try to be a good girl and practice what I preach. I don't always get that done. My child constantly tells me I'm unfair, but I, I hope, I'm hoping that's his age and not the truth. And, uh, Let's see. I do like these little curly cues at the bottom. Yeah, I'm rushing my lines. I'm going to take a deep breath here. And slow down. have the feeling this is going to be one of my least favorite tiles but uh, I'll tell you guys something that I was doing yesterday that was kind of cool and that was I was looking through Wow, well, I'm just not making it today I was looking through our um, our my all of my tangle tiles for the last 30 days and you know what we have some really good stuff in there and I know you guys do too. So um, I think that's pretty neat. And so I'm going to focus on what I do like hmm. instead of what I don't. I'm really having trouble getting my lines to match up today. But okay I can do it wrong or <laughs> I don't know if I want to call it wrong there is no wrong or is there? the peanut gallery is alive and well today he doesn't even know what a peanut gallery is I guess that's for us old folks I mean I don't mean y'all are old I mean me <laughs> y'all aren't old you're young chickens He doesn't even know my sayings anymore. I don't know what to do with him. I have been the brunt of much disrespect the last few days. Which also makes me cry, so stop that. I am not the only person that is anxious about stuff that's going on, so... I have to keep that in mind. See, that pushing out makes a difference to me. Goodness. Well, we're going to find out what happens when everything goes south today. Mm -hmm. 
it's definitely busier this way, isn't it? Starting to lose track which is which are the the rays and which are the uh, auras. I was hoping that the auras would lend motion, and they certainly do. But they are definitely difficult for me to manage. Especially this kind that radiates out. So if you are like me with the shaky lines and hands and all of that good stuff, maybe you also have tremors or jerking the way that I do. Just take a deep breath. I frequently have tiles that I'm not pleased with, that I give up on, but guys don't throw them away especially if you are using good paper or using uh, original Zentangle tiles do not throw the old stuff away I have had opportunities several times over the last few years to reuse or or retask old tiles so the paper is too fine don't throw them away there's you never know what you can use those for unless you try Hmm. So maybe if I go around here one more time, and we'll figure out what's next. I'm going to slow down. Simba is having a puppy dream right now, so we may have some, some little uh, jerky spots. He is running after a bunny or probably that crazy squirrel that harasses him in the backyard all the time. So we definitely did not lose our movement by doing this, but I think we have lost our rays in all of it. So I want to top this off here, finish it up, and see if there isn't something that we can do to re-emphasize our ray shapes while still leaving the movement with the auras. is frustrating for me when I have days like today but someone told me a very wise person told me yesterday that all we can do is live each day as it is brought to us all we can do is try to make this a positive day for ourselves in some way remembering that 95% I believe this 95% of our lives is 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 uh, or five percent of our lives is what is given to us to deal with and 95% is how we choose to look at it and react to it it's about attitude I always believe that now this really is a mess <laughs> Let's see what we can do for it. I'm thinking by emphasizing this outer aura with extra ink. I don't know, I may be biting off too much there. If we can do that, I think it will give the edges a little bit more of a finished look and, and not be quite so uh, chaotic. Well, that was a big puppy dream. I think the, I think the uh, squirrel must have hopped the fence there. He jumped after it. 
Hmm. Now shading will help this too, as far as separating the aras from the elements. Uh, shading will help on that too. I'm going to try to go ahead and go around here, re-emphasize this very outermost aura. I'm not sure this looks very much like Toodles. That's okay though. I'm just making it a little bit darker and a little bit thicker going around. And some of these I'm rounding the corners on. Once again, because that uh, really gives it a more finished um, quality. At least in my head it does. I can tell I'm being a negative Nelly today. So we need to up the self-talk here today. Come on guys, let's think positive things. Let's think we are grateful to be here together. I know I am grateful to be drawing with you guys. I am grateful to have my child with me here where he is safe. Even though we are arguing a lot and not getting along very well lately, we love each other so much. I am very grateful for that. I think it's a good thing to remind myself that uh, gratitude and the right attitude are really important parts of life. So making the final turn. The kid is coming in here and trying to start, start uh, shenanigans mischief. Shenanigans, if you don't know, are what we call mischief in my part of the country. And it's just, he's a shenanigan kid. He loves his shenanigans. He is as ornery as he can be. Most of the time that is awesome. While I'm doing my videos, not so awesome. Okay, now uh, the last thing I'm going to do ink-wise, besides put my chop in, is go around to some of these elements that are overlapped like I did yesterday with Toodles and sort of redefine their dividing lines when we go from uh, one element to the next, that section. Okay, if it's not overlapped, it's not that big of a deal, but uh, in this instance where I've got the auras right down by it, it would not hurt to re-emphasize that uh, ray curve right there. Um, or this one, for example, looks like just a continuation of the aura lines here. Which, again, is okay. This isn't supposed to look like anything in particular. It's just supposed to be whatever it is. Uh, that said, I'm always look looking for some way to make these cohesive with, with the elements on there. So that's why I wasn't particularly excited about the way this developed. But, um, again, like yesterday, we're going to find out if it turns out. And then we'll know what I do when I have struggles with a tile. And I 
and I frequently do. I started something last night. Uh, I got notification that um, Teespring, which is the company that allows um, merchandise to be sold here on YouTube, um, is going to um, do pop sockets now. You know, the little buttons that you can put on the back of your phone. And so I uh, started uh, trying to design one uh, for us yesterday uh, from something from our project. And I just could not get anything to come up that I wanted. So I sort of stopped. But I want you guys to be willing to set something aside and come back to it if that's, if that's where you're at. Um, frequently we end up with things that we're not satisfied with. And uh, so a lot of us have the tendency to go uh, try to figure out or start over or whatever it is. And so um, I think it's really important that, especially in these situations, that I do my best to make it work. Because otherwise, what kind of a teacher would I be? Not a very good one. Not sure I am, but we'll see. Okay, so this is where I'm at now. It's kind of a big jumbled mess. Let's put some shade, excuse me, let's put some shading in and see how that helps us. I expect that it will help tremendously. What will happen is we will take uh, the shading to the part where we are it. So, uh, all the way around these elements. We're going to start with that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and lay, actually, I want the school pencil. Yeah. Uh, I'll do things like this. That will drop the background back and draw the element out. Now this one is going to be more difficult because it was sort of all ARD lines, wasn't it? So I'm going to focus initially on the, the very first uh, row or uh, section of ARAs and I'm going to lay a lot of graphite down along there and also between elements like this if they overlap. Okay, um, here be another spot where the elements tend to overlap. And I'm just going to get in there and use plenty of graphite there. So I'm going to go ahead and try blending some of this and see what kind of an effect we get. And again, this looks darker to me than it does to you guys on camera because the light grays it out so much. I think you should be able to see enough to tell somewhat uh, what we're doing here. So I think I started here. And there is absolutely, ooh, I'm all over the place. There's absolutely nothing wrong with using shading to create uh, this sort of separation in this case. You know, just by coloring in or shading in that one uh, arid line makes a big difference. So let's keep working the shading on this and see where we end up.
I'm absolutely not using best practices with uh, the graphite right now. I am just slopping it on there. Slopping it on there everywhere. more. Yeah. I'm almost done, baby. But the purpose of this graphite is to separate the elements from the background and separate them from each other. Let's see if we can get that to work for us. Just go around and blend it out. You guys hear Simba snoring? He's having a really good nap right now. It really looks like I slopped the, the uh, graphite on here really easily, but I think I'm getting there with this as far as um, re-emphasizing the elements and letting the background, uh, the auras, not overwhelm the whole piece while still uh, keeping some movement involved. Um, I will probably go through here with my pencil again before I photograph this and uh, just darken some spots, uh, some creases type of the thing uh, and see where I end up. But this is what I've decided to do today. Uh, I will just slip my chop in here somewhere and call it done. Um, not my favorite tile that we have done, but uh, it's better than I thought it would turn out. And uh, this is what I came up with. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed Ray's. I hope the mess that I made on my tile doesn't diminish your enjoyment of the Ray's Tangle. Um, I thank Sarah for that. That is an awesome one. Um, manta Ray's. Who knew? Toodles to Manta Ray's. Only in Zentangle, guys. Only in Zentangle. All right. I'm going to call it done for now. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day 31. Can you believe it? We're almost a third of the way through. 
Unbelievable. Thanks so much, guys. Shout out to all of you. I love you all dearly. Mwah. Be good, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow.